going on, everyone? We are playing another super, super old game. One of the first games I ever remember playing. My brother couldn't even remember the exact title of this game. He said Flymare or something. It took some digging to find out this game was called Flightmare. We played this game so, so many years ago. And uh, this is going to be a blast from the past for me. And let's just get into it. Uh, let's uh, compositor RGB monitor. A very, a very uh, timely question. <laughs> let's go composite. The year is 2345, 2345. The only survivors of the human race are desert warriors fighting for control of the land. You are a pilot for the last civilized people, the Omegans. I gotta say, this sounds epic. You're gonna be so disappointed when you actually see the game. <laughs> The Omegans fighting powers in the air. The Desert Vandals are launching attacks on the Omegan f factories. Your mission is to protect them. Welcome to Flightmare. More story. The Van. <laughs> what kid didn't want to read four pages of just backstory when they got this in the late 80s? The Vandals have four different attack forces. The motorcycles are small gangs of marauding beatniks who revel in the destruction of Omegan factories. Wow. I did not read this when I was a kid. The trucks have the same sick desire for destruction, but can only be stopped by a direct hit in the tires. The squads of planes mainly escort the trucks and bikes, but often attack you or wait in ambush at your blimp. Lastly, the vandals may opt to fire the heat-seeking rocket. The Omegan Force consists of planes, factories, a blimp, and an airfield. If the vandals reach the factory, they will destroy it. This also applies to the airfield, which you should protect with your life. At the end of every attack, each factory will produce one additional plane for your airfield, and another factory will be built. To get more ammo, you must dock with a blimp, which can never be destroyed by the vandals. Why didn't we just make everything out of the same material we made that blimp out of? Eh? Huh? Oh, Megan should have had me working for him. Gameplay. Flame air is divided into two. The map phase. And then the combat phase. Simple enough. Whew, feel like I'm about to take a test here. Alright, those are your controls. Okay, when your plane is near another object, hit the space bar to engage in combat, and then that. <laughs> okay, all right, and we also have those keys. So that's not confusing at all. 18 different keys for a game made in 1986, something like that. What could possibly go wrong? The controls are many, and the survivors feel... <laughs> At least the game is aware of it. Like, this is an S show, basically. In order to kill something, you must be lined up in both the side view screen and the top view screen. It takes a while to get the hang of us, so don't give up too early. At the end of the game, you are given a ranking based on the level you attain. This is the only achievement you get credit for. Nothing else in life matters, people. Let's get into it. Feel free to copy and distribute this game to friends, user groups, hackers, or your dog. That's cute. The programmer spent five months on Flightmare. And yet, and this is a sweet game, and yet, GTA 6? We're waiting, what, a decade plus for that damn game? When's the next Elder Scrolls game coming out? Come on, hire this guy and be done with it. But I digress. If you find it to be entertaining and worth the disc it's on, then I would be greatly, I would greatly appreciate it if you uh, sent a monetary thank you card of five to fifty dollars. Peter Adams, there's the address, Livermore, California. Wow, man. All right, I like this. is refreshing, isn't this? All right, let's uh, let's get into it. I'm going to need to adjust my uh, my DOS box speed as we go here. Obviously, this is a very old game, 1984, starring Peter Adams, the ultimate expedition into horror. All right. So here's our little plane. There's our blimp. So we have to meet with these. I think there will be sound in a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Line up with the motor. Let's slow this down just a little bit. All right. Bit, bit faster than that. Heck yeah! Now we can line up with the arrow pizza. No! My brain! My brain could not differentiate it between the right side of my keyboard and the left side of my keyboard. We lost a good man because of that. Alright, let's try that again. Let's try that again. What is this game? <laughs> this is GTA 6. Long story short. 
Careful, they're tricky. Oh good, and it remembered how many dudes I destroyed. I love every, I mean obviously by necessity they all had the exact same sound effects in the mid to late 80s in their games. Look at those slime faced, oh well, I won't say the rest of that. Let's uh... Is it? Okay. I think we took out all the bandits from that first. Yes, they made a new plane, just like uh, Peter Adams promised. <laughs> all right. Do I need any more? Uh, there's our second factory. That's very exciting for us. All right. The motorcycles were very simple. This is this is trickier. Uh, uh, okay. We need to slow that down. That's very unforgiving at that current speed. That's unforgiving, regardless of the speed. That's just hard. This might have been as far as I got as a kid. We'll see how this goes. Okay. Let's get low. Don't rush. I guess that's true. Oh, I hit the planes. <laughs> I was just trying to line it up. We're on our last plane already. This is not the auspicious start I was hoping for. Man, all the graphics, though, everything. This is taking me back. This is crazy. All right, then. I think we lost. We got to give that one last try. Let's speed this up. First, let's get our ranking, the thing that defines me for all time. I'm a beta beginner, everyone. And thankfully, there's no, like, list of everything to know how crappy I did. I did pretty crappy. I think we all know that. All right, let's try this again. Now that I have a basic hang of the controls, I'm, I'm feeling better. Just noticing our statistics at the bottom, I guess eight enemy bikes. Cool. Cool. Win one for the Gipper. <laughs> All right. These random references. I'm not lined up with anything, am I? Heck yeah. Transitioning between the two different speeds here. So we really need the, the combat speed to be a lot slower, but it's a slog getting in and out. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Better get them quickly. The other one said pace yourself and don't hurry and whatnot. Lined up with Mercer. I like that it tells you. Is that the guy? Yeah, okay. There he is. I don't know why we can't go any further back. Boom. Didn't lose a single plane that time. There we go. We got a bonus plane. All right. Slow this down. Remember your factories. Yes, everyone. Remember. All right. Oh, the ground's a little uneven. Oh, God. I was like, he's about to shoot, and I completely disregarded the fact that they can fly into me. All right. This time. This time. Do you feel lucky, punk? I like all the... Oh! That guy ate it on that hill! Sweet! Suck it! Oh, thankfully you can't take me down. Please fly ahead of me. I have no way of attacking you if you stay behind me the entire time. That didn't hit me. That's garbage. All right. All right, Peter Adams, if that's how you want to play. He's like, it is. Can I have five to $50? Maybe. Anyone want to look him up, see what he's doing today? Watch him own Bethesda games, and then I'm like, oops. So much for that idea. Whoa, that's a super tall hill. Oh, nice. That guy went around the world. That worked out for me. Our first sky battle. Victorious. How is this not game in the year 2021? 
Might not qualify, given that it came out in 1984. Alright, it's a living. Suck it! Surprised they didn't give that to him. Whoa! Whoa! Come on, man! It's not fair that they always fall show up behind me. Alright, this is our last life, I believe. All right, we gotta make this count. We didn't even dock with the balloon. It's the hardest game ever. All right, I'm using all number keys this time. Even though I think the main ones I really care about are... I don't wanna crash into this guy, it's my last life. That'd be so lame. There more three more squads of those planes? This isn't gonna happen. Completely outmanned. Is that guy hiding on my blimp? Is this blimp or bad guy? America's favorite show. Oh god, bad guy. Definitely bad guy. I don't know. Let's see, can we should we go up front? It's just it's a death trap if I go in the back. I'll be sandwiched between Two groups of dudes, yes. Yes, go around the world. That'll work out very well for me. Okay. Suck it! Alright. Do you want to go around the world too? No? Do you want to hit that hill? Because that would really help me out. You just ate it on the terrain. No, don't eat it on the terrain. Ah, oh, okay, you didn't. I was trying some reverse psychology. Wow! Guy's got a guardian angel. I don't know what you do if you're out of ammo. You gotta dock with the blimp every now and then. I will consider this a complete victory if I can uh, beat this last squad. And those might be bikes, actually. This might happen. Complete victory coming up. Unless I <laughs> crash trying to dock with the blimp. Let's fire some more bullets. Sweet. Yeah, man. Cutting edge graphics blew people's minds in 1984, or 2021, as the case may be. Alright, just don't mess up the motorcycles. And I'm gonna be feeling pretty good about this. LP. WB. It's all about that third factory, that's how you win, right? Oh no! The terrain's not even. All right, let's focus on lining up with these dudes first off. Gotta keep an eye. Ah, bastards. Keep an eye on that, on that terrain. I was gonna say, you got, you the guy in the back? Is that you? That's that's, that's you, right? All right. All right, what's that guy in the back doing? Come on up. Come on up, Junior. Let me line myself up with him. All right, we're lined up. Look at that cutting edge technology. Don't rush it. That's why Peter says don't rush it. Total domination. Bonus plane! Sweet! Oh, I think we got two bonus. Is that how that works? Alright. We'll even get to see a truck level. Let's do a truck level before we die. Because I don't think we're going to finish this thing. <laughs> get away from the truck. I want to show everyone the truck. This better not be a plane. This is a plane. Alright. Oh, no. There's the truck. Excuse me. Trucks and planes. I feel like I'm lined up with that truck. Oh yeah, there's nowhere to go there. They shot me into a box. That was that was very uh, clever of them. But there you go. There's the truck. All that's left to do now is to get our ranking and 
bit this game a fond to do. Gamma wave. Trucks up here. Patience is key. Is it just... Is it just the, uh... Okay, alright. I'm gonna see if I can do this without... I can't raise my nose fast enough for that. That's all right. All right, one last one. Oh, that's kind of a, a neat effect, actually. If there's two vehicles in the same vicinity, you take them on at the same time. I think that's how that's worked, and that's why we're fighting planes and trucks. Move. Don't just fly into me. Okay. Nailed him. Trucks don't seem that bad, I gotta say. <laughs> Not even fighting back, much like the motorcycles. Alright, that guy's going around the world. Shot him down. Alright. Except the trucks can kind of move around. I don't get it. There we go. How about that? I need a... Just a pain going back and forth. Stay away from my factory! They don't even attack the factory. They just sort of drive around it menacingly. So this might just be the truck, right? Yep. Awesome. It's actually good training for, I don't know, what have you. Perspective, somehow. Just getting those two things to line up. I assume in the later levels, if I was better, that uh, there'd be a bit more maneuvering on the left-hand side, the, the top to bottom. Love that sound effect. Better refuel! so I can die with a, a full complement of ammunition in the next level. Heck yeah. Not sure how that time is being calculated. I, I think it's because the internal clock with the DOS box and everything is probably off with them speeding this up and slowing it down and everything. Who knows? These guys are the easiest, the motorcycles. Let's see if Gamma Wave, if they learn anything else. Any new tricks. Got no problem with the motorcycles. Well, if I could pull off one more, I'm not very good with the planes, but man, how inspiring would this let's play? <laughs> Is that the word I want? All right, got to get through the motorcycles first. Might be a huge hill coming up. That was a gimme. That was terrifying. Flashback to playing this as a kid. Having one of those moments. Alright. It all comes down to this. Even though I already said I was happy with my, per my accomplishment within this game. Wait, what is that? This is like the mothership or something? This looks like a key or a gavel or something. Alright. Let's find out what this is. Watch out for that rocket. Oh, yeah, I did say they had a rocket. Um, is this one of those things that is just going to make me sad because I literally can't get away from it? 
It's one of those things where they're like, hurry up, take care of your business a little faster. Okay. Silver lining, that rocket was going to eat it just like me, though, so that's all right. All right. Let's find out our ranking. We're a Gamma Greenhorn. All right. That's better than the beta. Well, I forget what it was exactly, but uh, that was Flightmare. That was a... Uh, that was a lot of fun. That was a blast from the past. Haven't played that game in a very, very, very long time. But uh, just glad I remembered the name of it. Thank you so much for watching. Check it out. It's free. Send uh, Peter Adams 5 to $50 if you like it. And we'll see you next time. More fun, fun times right here on Let's Play with Brigands. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you. And check the description of this video to see what song is playing right now.